Today we are talking about cloning. And in order to really do justice to that, we have to answer the question, what is cloning? Dictionary.com defines a clone as a cell or cell product or organism that is genetically identical to the unit or individual from which it was derived. Basically, it's think of it as like a photocopying process, but for living organisms. There are currently three types of cloning. There is DNA cloning, reproductive cloning, and therapeutic cloning. DNA cloning is taking parts of a DNA structure Uh, out and putting them into basically a blank slate cell to see what they do and how they react. Reproductive cloning is using cloning as a form of reproduction as opposed to sexual reproduction. Therapeutic cloning is utilizing the technology that is being developed today to produce like ears for people who have lost them, Uh, any body part that can be lost the goal is that cloning can be used to replace them. The cloning process has been being developed for many years and in the last 30 years they've kind of figured out how to make it work in most cases. Every day though it is being uh, refined further and further and they're hoping that they have a chance to perfect it. So I'm here today with a scientist who is working on perfecting the art of cloning. Louis Hamler, I am a scientist working on cloning. Um, are you worried about what cloning could create, the kind of abominations or what it can do to society? No, um, I'm not worried. I feel like we will overthink it. Um, I have been working on cloning, um, so I think that's the reason I'm not worried. Um, I have my clone right here. Tell them your name. Tell them your name. Now you tell them your name. Now you tell them your name. Tell them your name. <laughs> tell them your name. There might be a little bit of um, malfunctions. Tell them your name. What does cloning have to offer? Many people believe that cloning could be used to solve food shortages around the world um, by mass producing livestock. If perfected, it could make replacement organs for people who needed transplants. But what's the risk? If you're able to perfect the process needed for creating organs, It's really only a few steps away from creating an artificial human. What rights do clones have? Are they like second class citizens or are they equal footing as natural born humans? Next you have to wonder what's next? With enough money and time people are going to figure out how to perfect cloning and it becomes a question of not if but when and what to do once it is. The world's going to have a lot of questions and answers that are going to need to be figured out before something like this can truly be done on a massive scale. And I think it's going to be something that must be faced sooner rather than later. 